derive an expression for EMF of electrolyte concentration cell reversible to cation. Let's consider a cell of the type silver is in contact with silver nitrate of activity A1 and another electrode is the same that is silver nitrate of activity A2 is in contact with silver wire. These two electrodes are separated by salt bridge. This cell consists of two silver electrodes immersed in two solutions of silver nitrate of activity A1 and A2. Let A2 is greater than A1. Since the two solutions are connected by a salt bridge, there is negligible transfer of electrolyte at the liquid junction. The use of salt bridge is represented by a double line put between the two half cells. This cell is reversible with cation that is silver ions. The cell reactions are at left hand electrode oxidation takes place. So solid silver is getting dissolved into silver ions of activity A1 and one electron is liberated. At right hand electrode reduction takes place. That means silver ions of activity A2 combines with one electron producing solid silver. Net cell reaction will be the combination of these two reactions. That is silver ions of activity A2 is being converted into silver ions of activity A1. The Nernst equation for the above cell may be written as E cell is equals to E0 of the cell minus RT by NF ln of A1 by A2 or E cell is equals to E0 of the cell minus 2.303 RT by F log of activity A1 divided by A2. Here the number of electrons involved in the electrode reactions are 1 therefore we have replaced n with 1. Since for concentration cells both electrodes are same therefore E0 of the cell becomes 0 volt. Let's substitute this value E cell is equals to minus 2.303 RT by F log of A1 by A2. At standard conditions that is 298 degrees Kelvin 2.303 RT by F is 0.0591. Therefore, E cell becomes minus 0.0591 log of A1 by A2. Let's invert the ratio of A1 by A2 so that we can remove negative sign. Therefore, E cell becomes 0.059 log of A2 by A1. This is the final Nernst equation for the EMF of the electrolyte concentration cell reversible to cation without transference. Now the activity of single ion is given by A is equals to m into gamma where m is molality of the ion and gamma is the activity coefficient. Therefore A1 becomes m1 into gamma1 and A2 becomes m2 into gamma2. Therefore E cell becomes 0.0591 log of m2 gamma 2 divided by m1 gamma 1. For spontaneous cell reaction, A2 must be greater than A1. Now let's take one numerical example based on this type of cells. So calculate the EMF of the following cell at 298 degrees Kelvin. Silver is in contact with silver nitrate of 0.01 moles and another electrode is again silver is in contact with silver nitrate of 0.1 moles. And these two electrodes are connected by a salt bridge. Given that 0.1 moles of silver nitrate and 0.01 moles of silver nitrate solutions are 80% and 90% dissociated. So from the percentage dissociation of silver nitrate we can first calculate the dissociation per mole that is concentration of silver ions in 0.01 moles of silver nitrate solution will be 0.01 into 90 divided by 100 because it is 90% dissociated which is equals to 0.009 moles. Similarly, concentration of silver ions in 0.1 mole silver nitrate will be 0.1 into 80 divided by 100 because it is 80% dissociated which gives 0.08 moles. For concentration cell without transference reversible to cation we have E cell is equals to 0.0591 log of A2 by A1. So now we can put the concentrations of silver ions in terms of activity A2 and A1. Therefore 
E cell becomes 0.0591 log of 0.08 moles divided by 0.009 which comes 0.0591 log of 8.89. Let's take the logarithm. So E cell is equals to 0.0591 into 0.949. And finally, the EMF of the cell is 0.056 volt. And if you like my video, please click on the like button. And if you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. And also click on the bell icon to receive the latest updates.